Hello everyone. So today we will learn about Archon and non-Archon Articulator. What is the difference between them and why do we even need Archon Articulator? But before this, let's understand the structural anatomy of condylar assembly. See, this is the condylar assembly. This condylar assembly is made up of two parts. That is condylar element and this is the condylar guidance. This is condylar track, which is the part of condylar guidance. So mainly, so mainly these are two most important component of the condylar assembly that is condylar element and this condylar guidance. Now, what is Archon? Archon term was given by Bergstrom in 1950. Archon term is made up of two terms that is articulator and condyle. So what is an Archon articulator? In Archon articulator, the condylar element is the part of mandibular that is the lower uh, member of the articulator and the condylar guidance is attached to the upper member of the articulator. And it is similar to our natural anatomy where the condylar guidance, condylar fossa is the part of cranium which is attached to the maxilla and the condyle is the part of mandible, right? So it is uh, similar to our natural anatomy of the condyle. And the most popular example of the archon type of the articulator is and a wide view articulator. This is, uh, you can see that in the HANA wide view articulator, the condylar element is attached to the lower member and the condylar guidance is attached to the upper member, right? So this is the example of Archon articulator. Other examples of the Archon articulator are Teledyne articulator and Ney articulator. You can see this is the condylar uh, guidance attached to the upper member. Right, and the condylar elements are attached to the lower member of the articulator. Now, what is non archon articulator? In non archon articulator, the condylar element is connected to the upper member of the articulator, and the condylar guidance or the condylar track is attached to the lower member of the articulator. Right, and this is the example the Hanau series A2 is the type of the non archon articulator. Now you can see that the condylar element is attached to the upper member of the articulator. Opposed to this, compared to this, the condylar element is connected to the lower member in HANA wide view articulator. HANA series A2 articulator has condylar element attached to the upper member of the articulator. And the condylar guidance is attached to the lower member of the articulator. Right? Other examples of the non archon articulator are Guy C true bite articulator and Len Tatas articulator. So the question is why do we need an archon articulator? Let's understand by this simple diagram. This is an archon articulator and this is a non archon articulator. You see the condylar guidance is attached to the upper member and the condyle, condylar element is attached to the lower member of the articulator. This is non archon articulator where the condylar guidance is attached to the lower member and condylar element is attached to the upper member. Now let's understand what difference does it make in archon and non archon articulator. See, this is condylar element and this is the occlusal plane. If we connect them, this angle, there is an angle formed by this condylar guidance and occlusal plane, right? Now, if we open the articulator, the angle remains the same because the whole assembly is connected to one component, right? So the maxillary arch, the occlusal plane, and the condylar guidance, the angle remains the same. That is the entire assembly, the relation of maxillary arch to this condylar guidance is constant. Now, what happens in the non archon articulator? In non archon articulator, this is the uh, angle between the condylar guidance and occlusal plane at rest position, right? As soon as we open the articulator, the angle between the occlusal plane and the condylar guidance reduces, right? So that means it is not fixed. So how will it affect the processes? See the relationship between the maxillary arch and the, uh, that is the cranium and the condylar guidance is not fixed in the non-archon articulator. That means the condylar guidance is changing in relation to cranium. What is the condylar guidance? Condylar guidance is the angle between the condylar path inclination and Frankfurt horizontal plane. Now, as soon as we open the uh, in, as soon as we open the articulator, the Frankfurt horizontal plane changes. So the relationship between the Frankfurt horizontal plane and the condylar guidance changes. 
if it is not constant, what is the use of measuring measuring the Mandela guidance and using the Facebook? Because as soon as we open the articulator, either by increasing the reading or in the protrusion. Remember, in the protrusion also, the uh, articulator opens a little bit, right? So as soon as we open the articulator, the condylar guidance changes in relation to this maxillary arch. So the procedures, the Facebook, the use of semi-adjustable articulator, everything becomes useless. And that's why we need an archon type of articulator where the relationship between the maxillary arch and the condylar guidance remains constant. And this is the importance of the Facebook, right? Facebook helps to arrange the maxillary arch in relation to this condylar assembly, the condylar guidance. Now, if it is changing, what is the use of the Facebook? So in our own type of articulator, the condylar assembly and the maxillary arch remains in the constant relationship. And that's very important in cases of the full mouth fixed prosthesis where we need a perfect relationship, a constant relationship between the condylar guidance and the occlusal gland that is our maxillary arch. And that is the use of our articulator. I hope the concept is clear to you. Thank you.